Hello guys, today I will be turning this tail that I got from Claire's and making it more realistic. So first off, I'm going to take a little bit of my brown. This is going to give it some, like, dimension or whatever. It's going to make it a little less out in the open orange. And it's just going to tame it a bit. And by the way, I'm using chalk pastels. Because chalk pastels, um die um die they die for fun and the color stays in okay after we got that we're gonna want to go in with some of our black now the black is gonna give it some more shadows and make it look more realistic And we're just going to want to add some of this. Just get it in there. Okay, wait. I'm going to need a brush for the end. I don't know where my um, small brush is. So I'm just going to have to get another brush. Um, so I put the hair in the brush. If you see that. Um, but we're basically just darkening the tail. Now, this is not, like, a very good quadrobics tail. It is just a normal, bendable costume tail. Because my mom got it for me, um, like, before she knew I was, like, well, before I, like, put myself out as, like, a fairy. She got me this really pretty fox set. Um, I got... Um, ears and a paws with it, but I don't know where those went. I think I might know where the ears are, but I don't know where the paws were, and I wish I did, because I actually liked them. But yeah, this fur is very bright and open and orange, so I'm just gonna dye it down. I'm gonna shade it down to make it more realistic, just like that. Now we're gonna wanna brush it. Ah, I'm doing this with one hand so it's not so easy. Because I don't really show my face and if I did I would probably prop it up. And I'm not doing this in a cat mask. So uh, we we gave it some color to it and I'm just gonna So I gave a little bit more realism to that. Now we're gonna wanna take this. Just add the tiniest bit of black. Don't make it too dark because we still want to give it some shadows because we want to make it look more realistic. But we don't want to make our tail black. Now we're going to brush that out. So now our tail is looking more realistic. Yeah. So this was a, um, like, safety pin tail, but it broke. So I didn't really know how it's going to work. Like, I don't know how I'm going to take it out or something. Because uh, I can put my finger under it which means it's not attached did it break maybe it didn't hmm. maybe it didn't break i'm not sure but i think i will be removing this and adding like a belt loop or something but we're gonna keep that for now Go back in. Hold on. I don't know where I cut off, but I had to end the recording because of, um, I showed, like, packages that had my address on it and stuff. I always kept be aware of that stuff in videos. Okay, um, anyways, 
So we have our more realistic tail here. So it's a lot more realistic as you can see. It has more shadings in it and it's not as out in color. So it's not pure white, it's not pure orange and it looks a lot nicer now. Um, I'm just going to put my I'll put my pastel away and then I'll brush it out and we'll see the final product and then I will probably try it on. So let me just push that in. Okay. Brush. Brush it. I don't really like right there how I accidentally pressed too hard and it was black on the tip now, but. Okay, I will put this on and see how it looks now. And there we have it. We have a tail. Um, so it looks, it doesn't look too much different from the beginning, but it looks more realistic. And yeah, see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>